I think what we create together is better than the sum of our parts, if you like. Together, somehow, it, we push each other. Roderick, you know, is a brilliant photographer. He's really taken on the graphics design in a way that I'd never imagined. He's a good communicator, really, whether it be in photography, graphics, or writing. And I'm probably more just in my own head making stuff and, you know, with pins and things. Carolyn's background is textiles, so she's very classic, very timeless, very unfussy. I think timelessness is a very big thing, is that you can't pin it down and say, oh, that's so 80s or that's so 90s or so 60s. It's, it's always good. We're not, we're not doing anything revolutionary here. We're doing what's always been done well and now. So it kind of, it kind of fits. You know, the photography I'm doing, I could be doing on film, on Kodachrome, I could be doing it with a cloth over my head and it would be quite similar. It would be the same flavour because it, it, it hasn't changed. The state of the art, especially in sewing, the state of the art is what it's always been. You know, a good pair of scissors is a good pair of scissors. Merchant and Mills, I think, is um, is an alternative to to the high street, and it's an alternative to just general crafting. It's something more more like a different lifestyle choice. It's like you're choosing to to make your own clothes rather than to buy them. And you can make everything if you want to. There's nothing that would stop you doing that. And I think Merchant and Mills is really saying that. It's saying you can make your own bag, you can make your dresses and your trousers and everything. And it can be just as beautiful as anything that's out there available to you on the high street. And I think we, we back that up, but then having the tools and the fabric and the thread and everything you might need to bring that idea into reality. The whole cohesiveness of the company is about spending time with yourself in a way. It's um, making things, noticing things, you know, paying attention, making an effort. It's, it's much more about being present in the present, experiencing life, instead of just blindly closing your eyes and getting your credit card out in, in a shopping centre. I think people love beautifully made things. I think, especially now, there's, there's, in certain parts of society, I think there's definitely a feeling of, I don't want to buy things and just throw them away. And also, I appreciate the craft that's gone in to producing the smallest thing, rather than just buying it, throwing it away. It's like, just keep it, look after it. What we've done is taken haberdashery and made it as cool as photography or architecture. The whole business of making and sewing, I think because it's been a woman's profession that people do at home, it's never been taken that seriously. So by elevating it, we've appealed to markets you wouldn't expect and people you wouldn't normally make are coming in and getting excited about making. You know, we have customers that come to us and say, um, they gave up sewing in the 70s because it wasn't a feminist thing to do and they felt that they were betraying their sex by sewing or being involved in anything so frivolous. So, but now the way we offer things, it's not, it doesn't look like a frivolous thing. It looks like a, a weighty thing so that those women can now come back to sewing and say, yeah, you know, look at me, I'm like a sewer. <laughs>